Hello and welcome to the channel. In this video, I am going to share with you another very cool agentic utility called as Tula. Tula is a high level stateful tool wrapper for LLMs. It contains a chart class that keeps a history of the chat and also enables automatic tool use by defining Python function. The basic aim of this Tula is to be as general as possible with respect to function calling or tool use. Instead of including a suite of tools, it allows a user to define their own tools using documented function definitions. As a design choice, this package Tula does not include streaming. It assumes the end user will be using it primarily for tasks and not building interfaces. And that is what I really like about Tula because it is sort of a backbone of tool use which you can easily embed into your own application as Python library. So in this video, we are going to install it locally and then we will see how can we do the function calling with the help of Olama based Llama 3.1. Of course, you can use any function calling or tool use model from Olama or even from Anthropic if you are looking towards an API based closed source model. If you don't know what Olama is, Olama is one of the easiest tool to run large language models locally. It is a wrapper on Llama.cpp and it primarily speeds up the model inference by quantizing them and enables you to run them on your commodity hardware like simple easy gpus now before i show you the installation let me give a huge shout out to best compute who are sponsoring the vm and gpu for this video if you're looking to rent a gpu on affordable prices i will drop the link to their website in video's description and i'm also going to give you a coupon code of 50 percent discount on a range of gpus this is a VM I am using, Ubuntu 22.04 and I have one NVIDIA card of 48GB VRAM and NVIDIA RTX A6000. Let me clear the screen. First up, let me create a Conda environment which will keep everything separate from my local installation and I am going to install Tula in this virtual environment. Shouldn't take too long now. And that is all done. Let me quickly install Torch and Transformers. Let's wait for it to finish. Both of them are done. Now let's install Tula here by simply using, sorry, not this. Um, pip install Tula. Pip install in Tula. So let's wait for it to get installed. It's not that big. And that is all done. Let me clear the screen. I already have Olama installed and I already have downloaded Llama 3.1. If you don't know what Olama is, how to install it and how to uh, use it, please search my channel. I have done heaps of videos on Olama. Just to give you a quick glimpse after installing Olama, simply do Olama pull Llama 3.1 and it is going to download this model on your local system. Okay, so let me clear the screen. Now let me install and run this Jupyter Notebook and this is going to launch it in my browser and then we will play around with Tula over there. So Jupyter Notebook is launched. First, let's import the chat from Tula. That's done. And now in this one, you can see that in this cell we are simply specifying our system prompt where we are asking it that complete all prompts in the style of a professor and then of course you can customize it and this is where we are specifying our olama model this is a base url or endpoint of olama default one with this port and localhost this is the model we are using and then we are passing system prompt and if you will just uh, set this to true because by default it is false it is going to print the output and we are saying it chat hello so let me run it and there you go look at this response it's saying welcome to our academic discourse i note that you have initiated communication but so far no specific topic or agenda has been proposed as such i shall have to pose an inquiry what would you like to discuss would you care to engage in a thought experiment on a particular subject or perhaps review some relevant literature so typically in the style of a professor 
Okay, but this is not what we are looking to do. We are more interested in tool use. So let's define a tool. This tool is a function which is add. It accepts two parameters and then we have to give its description as what exactly this function does. And these are the arguments of the function. We also have to describe them. And this is a golden rule of using the tools in the LLM context. Make sure whenever you're defining a function, you give as much description as possible and also what exactly the arguments are doing because what happens in tool use is that whenever a user asks something in a natural language that gets passed to LLM as a prompt and then LLM reads through this description to decide whether to use this function or this tool or not. So let's define this function. It is simply a function which you can of course replace with any logic you want. And now in order to use this tool, it's the same chat function which we used above and we are passing now tools add. And as you can sense, this is an array. You can pass as many tools as you like. And we are asking the prompt just in a natural text that what is this and this. So just on the basis of this and reading the description of this tool, LLM is going to get the answer for it after making the tool call. Look at the answer of the model here through this Tula that professor has really taken it very seriously. It was just a simple arithmetic question, but there you go. It says that it may seem trivial at first class. Let us approach this calculation with a sense of rigor and in intellectual curiosity and then look at the intellectual curiosity. It has really uh, beaten the everything out of it. So. This is the answer correct and there's erudite student we have arrived at a definitive answer and look at all of this chain of thought amazing stuff okay <laughs> so you can imagine that how easy and how cool it is to do the function calling with the help of this tula another cool feature of tula is the multi-step tool use let me show you an example so in this one i'm defining another function called as multiply and this code chunk shows you that Tula is going to execute multi-step tool by default based on the response of the model. So we have specified tools and the chat class is going to recursively call itself up to a maximum steps to accomplish the task specified in the prompt. So this is a multiply function just like we have defined the add. Then in the <clears throat> where I'm calling the chat class specified the model. Now there are two tools add and multiply and we are asking it to just do five max steps and then stop no matter how many functions are there and then we are passing it the uh, base url of olama model and then system prompt and output is equal to true and there you go you see we have now multiply and we have plus here and this is going to show us the state of the chat so let me run it and then see how it goes and it has returned as a response there you go it says a simple arithmetic problem my dear students and all that first let's calculate the product of this so you see it has shown the product and then it has added it so and then it has also given us the results that okay this is a whole system content complete all prompt professor this is a prompt and then this is what it has done in uh, response of this query so amazing stuff it has used both tools and you of course we can put as many tools as is want and then it is going to show us the response we can replace it with any open source model and we can replace it with any function logic or tool use we like. So really good stuff. I uh, really like Tula here. I will drop the link to its repo in video description. Play around with it. Let me know what do you think because it's really a high level tool use for LLM and opens up a lot of avenues. If you like the content, please consider subscribing to the channel. If you are already subscribed, please share it among your network as it helps a lot. Thanks for watching.